So Tom Sandoval is issuing a statement, finally. But it's not an apology to Ariana. Can y'all believe this shit? Can y'all believe this shit? Really? Really? Well, the entire cast of Vanderpump Rules is reacting. They are back filming because they're going to include all of this Tom Sandoval, Ariana, and Raquel mess for season 10. And I've been watching. I'm all caught up with season 10. I know, four episodes. But let's unpack this statement and all of the connecting of the dots about this Raquel and Tom Sandoval relationship and how long has it actually been going on. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So if you were following me on TikTok, last night we watched the first two episodes of season 10 of Vanderpump Rules. And I'm fully caught up because I ended up watching episodes three and four on my own. So I'm caught up with the season. I am going to backtrack because all of you have recommended, no, you have to watch from season one. The show is really good. Last season wasn't good, but all the other seasons are really good. It's very messy. I'm not really one for messy. I like interesting reality TV personalities, but I have to say season 10 so far in these four episodes, I was engaged. I was like, okay, this is not bad. It was better than Summer House for me. Anyone else? Let me know in the comments section. Anyways, so... As you know, Tom Sandoval and Ariana Maddox apparently have broken up because Ariana allegedly, according to multiple reports, discovered sexting video footage of sexual of the sexual nature of Raquel on Tom's phone. And I, I and thank you to all of you that have been catching me up, just giving me the cliff notes about all these relationships. So Ariana, although I do feel bad for you, and I actually get why people like you so much on the show, because you have this mature aura about you, although you are near 40. So, but I feel like you've always had that about you. Well, some, I see mixed reactions. First of all, did you, Ariana, and pe people tell me that you did, but I'm asking you a question, Ariana. Did you lose them how you got them? So apparently Ariana cheated with with tom when he was with Kristen, and a lot of you said that you're not surprised that tom has stepped out on her because she told him from the beginning that she didn't want kids and she didn't want to get married so if that was okay with him that doesn't mean you have a right now to cheat on her but there seems to be a lot of hypocrisy on this cast james kennedy sh shut up that is so stupid <laughs> I've only watched four episodes of James Kennedy, and I do not like him. But at least in these four episodes of this season alone, you going on social media trying to slam Tom Sandoval for cheating when you, in, these, in this season alone, reveals that you had an affair with Lala while she was in a relationship with Randall, and you were in a relationship with Raquel. Lala, you also... Shut up! That is so stupid! <laughs> Because you also are coming out on social media, and I get it, because all of you now, all of a sudden, people are watching your show. It's probably going to increase ratings for season 10. Shout out to Lisa Vanderpump. I love seeing Lisa come throughout these different scenes. But you know what I really liked? Because you know, I, yeah, I like some of the mess in these reality shows, but I love the aspect of starting a business, a restaurant business, and how that works. Apparently, Tom and Tom do not know how to run a business even after years, years of watching Lisa do this. They've learned nothing. Well, apparently, it looks like Lisa's going to come in and save the day of their new restaurant, Sh Schwartz and Sandy's. Mm, I don't know, Lisa. I, I get it. Maybe for reality TV, you want to do it, and it would be great for you because you already have proven success with restaurants. And this can be highlighted on this reality show, which also highlights... The restaurant, great promotion. And now there's all this whole all this drama. Sidebar. And he was like, How many parts should this reunion be for Vanderpump Rules? And Lisa Vanderpump replies and she says, I don't think my heart can take it. One. Just one. I'm paraphrasing. And not Andy replying to her, well, get a pacemaker, because you know what? 
there, Andy, of course, this is his bread and butter. He's enjoying this. He loves this drama, even though we have someone that's really heartbroken. And even Kristen was comforting Ariana. But Chris, Ariana, I'm looking at you like, I feel bad for you. But at the same time, we always say this. You, you, you lose them how you got them. I know it's been almost 10 years of being together, but are we completely shocked? And how long has this relationship been going on? So there have been all these reports recently. There's a photo of Raquel or Rachel. What's her real name? Because some of you said her name was Rachel in, in, I guess, when she was in high school. And now it's Raquel. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> well, she was sporting this Thunderbolt chain. And so was Tom Sandoval. And then these TikTok users said that they saw Raquel in November and no other cast member was there at Tom's budding music career. Oh, who, you guys like the music? I don't know. Based on what I heard, I was like, all right. And for the fact that he's paying out all this money for, it sounds, it's it's giving me Erica Jane vibes. <laughs> it's giving me Erica Jane vibes. You're paying more for this music career than it's actually paying you. Whatever. So apparently these TikTok users said that they saw Raquel at this show in November. In November. In light of today's news, we have something to talk about. So we went to go see Tom Sandoval and the most extras in November. November. Got our place at the bar. Having a cocktail or two. Stayed there all night. And then he came on. Tom comes on. We're enjoying. I mean, kinda. you know, it's Tom Sandoval. And then this happens. Look, Raquel, Raquel is there. Alone. By nope. herself. No cast members. Nope. No other cast were there. They were not filming, but Raquel was there. Rewinding back. So apparently people are connecting the dots and saying that, oh, she has this Thunderbolt chain, and so does he. And now people are wondering, how long has this been going on? And the only reason why I got into this show was because... I kept on seeing stories with Raquel being connected to other people in the cast. I was like, wow, this girl's hooking up with everybody. She hooked up with Oliver, a married man. She hooked up with Schwartz, a married man. I know they were divorcing, but they just got divorced in February. I'm fully caught up. You guys are so, so good with these cliff notes. Just got divorced. And now these two probably would have been married, but they decided not to get married, Ariana and Tom. You're in the middle of their relationship. I understand you're hurt and broken from James Kennedy, but I know hurt people hurt people, but girl, get some help. Period. Dot. Some real help. And all you side characters, Lala and James, shut up! That is so stupid! Look, I, I know I said that already, but I wanted to say it again. Because all of them on their holier-than-thou kick right now, no! Lala, you apparently, allegedly, were the other woman when it came to the Randall situation. So you have no room to talk here. The only person that has room to talk is Lisa Vanderpump. <laughs> Everyone else apparently have slept with each other. I saw a diagram this weekend about who slept with who, who's been with who. Okay. I mean, you're young and you're free. I just, how do these friend, and they're not the only friend group to ever do this. They're just the only friend group to be on reality TV showing all of this. But are they really friends? Sheena, why are you here? <laughs> Look, and we already know Sheena's history. That's how we were introduced to Sheena. Oh my gosh, I have to get Hold on, excuse me. Just saying. I, I do know Sheena. I do remember Sheena. So with all of the, the Bravo universe, universe imploding and Vanderpump Rules imploding, apparently the, the cameras are up. They're, they're filming additional scenes for this season. That's what that will be included. Well, Tom, Tom Sandoval is speaking out because a lot of you are boycotting his new restaurant, Schwartz and Sandy's. Well, he's like, don't boycott. So this is what he says in an Instagram press release. He says, hey, I fully understand and deserve your anger and disappointment towards me. So admitting that he did cheat. But please leave Schwartz, my friends and family out of this situation. As you know, his mom's life savings is invested in, in this. Schwartz specifically only found out about this very recently. A lot of you were speculating, and I asked you the question, we were watching this together last night. Do you believe that Schwartz knew? 
who I kind of like. I like Schwartz. I get it why some of you don't like him. I kind of like him. I'm just saying. Schwartz specifically only found out about this very recently. What's recently? Before Ariana? And most definitely did not condone my actions. This was a very personal thing. Explain that sentence. This was a very personal thing. Also, Schwartz and Sandy's might have my name on it, but also there are three other partners and 20 employees who especially rely on the restaurant for income for them and their families. See, that was the important part. And this is why I'm doing the video, because I do believe this is important to mention. He says, just like Tom, Tom, I'm a small part of a much bigger thing. Apparently, he only, is, he only owns 10%. They only own 10% of Tom, Tom. I learned a lot this weekend. I'm a small part of a, bi a much bigger thing. Please direct your anger towards me and not them. They did nothing wrong. I'm so sorry that my partners, Greg, Brett, and Schwartz, and our employees have to suffer for my actions. I will be taking a step back and taking a hiatus out of respect for my employees and partners. I need some time to address everything else. Sorry for everything. And nowhere do we hear an apology to Ariana. I don't know why, but that could be just who tom sandoval is because even in this statement you're admitting your guilt how about a public apology to the woman that you were with for a very long time and have publicly embarrassed her i know he's taking a step back he means he's taking a step back from social media he's not taking a step back from the show because they are filming he just moved out there's video footage and pictures of him with suitcases moving out of his home that he shared with ariana guys I posted a poll on our community tab asking you guys if we should recap this show, if we should do a separate live for this or add it to Tuesday Takeover. And some, the good majority said no. The good majority, even though it is pretty split, it's pretty split. But y'all already know, I'm a Taurus. I do what I want. <laughs> this is my channel. <laughs> so I was just asking just to kind of get an idea. If it would say 90 something percent, then I probably would be like, oh, we won't talk about it. No, 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 no. This is my channel. And I am going to talk about at least the first four episodes of Vanderpump Rules on our Tuesday Takeover, which we cover a variety of reality TV, including like 90 Day Fiance. We were talking about Harlem this week. You know, we, we talk about a bunch of different things, including pop culture. So we will continue our conversation and you'll be able to call in and share your thoughts on this whole Vanderpump Rules situation on Tuesday Takeover. And if it's really good, we might do a separate live recapping this week's episode of Vanderpump Rules. I really was somewhat interested in this season because of Garcelle's son being involved. <sighs> Guys, let's continue this conversation. Do you think this apology... I don't think this is an apology. No, this was a statement so that you guys will continue to support this business because there are other people involved here. What's your reaction to that? What's your reaction to the possibility that this affair has been going on for a long time? A long time. I don't know how long, but it seems long enough. At least possibly since november guys let's continue this conversation in the comments section as always be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload thanks for watching